Hey everybody, welcome back to The Dangen. On today's episode, I'm gonna review an external monitor by AOPEN, a subsidiary of Acer. I'll let you guys know how it's been working out while I'm here working from home. Thanks a lot for checking out my channel and stick around. All right, guys, something a little bit different than normal today. Like I said, we're reviewing the A-Open um, Fire Legend external monitor. This is a 15.6 inch external monitor that's powered by USB-C. Um, this portable monitor is a IPS panel that is pretty much meant for portability. Um, I reached out to Acer to see, uh, with my contact, to see if they had any products that they were interested in having reviewed on the Danger, trying to grow the channel. They reached out and said they have this uh, A-Open brand that they're promoting, and this Fire Legend uh, external monitor, portable monitor, was available, so I gave it a shot. Um, I'll go through the tech specs real quickly here. The um, the unit itself, like I had mentioned, 15.6 inch corner to corner. Uh, the panel type is an IPS. It is a USB-C powered unit. So when you use the AC adapter, the USB-C port on the side, one of the two USB-C ports powers the unit. Um, it also has a mini HDMI input that can run to an HDMI output on several devices. Uh, the response time is an is eight milliseconds, so this is good to use as a external gaming monitor. So if you travel with your console and you need a, a monitor to travel with as well, um, it is a good compact solution for that. It is 1080p. Um, it is uh, 60 hertz, so most gaming um, consoles support. And up to that signal. Obviously it's not 120, which would be ideal, but I'm sure they have something out there you can look into or in the future. The, uh, the, the unit itself has a viewing angle of 170 degrees. Um, the contrast ratio is 800 to one. It's 250 nits, so it's pretty bright. The, um, the unit, it's two speakers as well. So you, uh, if you do bring your console with you, obviously there's no speakers built into the PlayStation, uh, but this unit has um, two one watt speakers to play some sound. All right, let's take a look at how the Fire Legend is packaged. Cardboard box containing the felt sleeve for travel purposes. It comes in an anti-static bag along with your USB-C to USB-C cable, your HDMI mini to HDMI standard connector, some literature, and the power cable. On the side, you can see two USB-C ports and the mini HDMI along with a headphone jack. You have your power button and your adjustment buttons. The unit itself is nice and flat and has a fold-out stand that seems very, very reliable as far as how stiff it is, moving it in all different directions. The screen is uh, is very glossy, but it allows for a real nice picture. And the felt carrying case doesn't have any rigidity necessarily um, to keep it protected, but it will prevent it from scratches. Once the unit is powered on, you can see that there's some menu settings using the buttons that I showed earlier. I'll scroll through those real quick so you can get an idea. Brightness, input, all the adjustments you might find on a standard monitor are built right into the A-Open Fire Legend. Rather easy to navigate. Good response, plenty of brightness, plenty of adjustments that can be made as well. Sharpness, black level, contrast, brightness, hue, 
and then your standard modes warm normal cool and then you can set one up as an user preference as well and then the last feature is the volume setting remember this does have two one watt speakers so you can adjust the volume on the fly through the fire legend itself Here's a quick example of me attaching a laptop computer with a USB-C port. So Windows specifically allows for the USB-C to use as an external monitor and also um, control the Fire Legend with the touch sensitivity on the screen. So you can select different applications, move around different windows, open up your file folders just by tapping on the Fire Legend screen. I did find that if you plug in the AC adapter, you actually get a little bit more of a brightness boost out of the monitor. You'll see here, it instantly kicks in and allows the brightness to go to a full 100%. It also increases the response time on the screen when using the touch features as well. All in all, it's not needed to plug in the AC adapter, but it would probably help you save some battery life as well as increase the brightness on the screen and touch sensitivity. In this clip, I'm gonna navigate through the PS4 Pro menu it's a 1080p 60 hertz screen, so it actually works perfectly with this particular unit. You can see it's just like any normal monitor, plugging it in, standard response time, good color, good feedback. I connected this using the HDMI port from the PS4 Pro to the mini HDMI on the Fire Legend monitor. Played a little bit of Rocket League. I found that there was zero input lag uh, that made any type of difference when playing a game as fast-paced as Rocket League. So I would imagine it is just as compatible as a standard computer monitor to play games on. Lastly, I played a first-person shooter, Call of Duty Warzone. Response time is very much necessary in this game as well. Worked out perfectly fine. The colors were great. Didn't have to make any adjustments to it, just plugged it in and started playing. Very good response time, 1080p, 60 hertz. This thing handles pretty much any game you can throw at it, as long as you're okay with 1080p, 60. Hope you guys enjoyed this video reviewing the Fire Legend by AOpen. I really enjoyed this portable monitor. Uh, I think I'm gonna purchase one for myself. I do have to travel for work quite a bit and um, I do like to do quick presentations or video editing on a larger screen. So I think this would really help, especially if you want to extend your display or add a second monitor to carry around with you. I think gaming on the fly would be real convenient this way too. I could probably travel with my PlayStation or if you have a Nintendo Switch that you want to play on a bigger screen, this would work out perfectly. Do me a favor and let me know if you have any questions uh, by leaving some comments down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for checking out the Dangen. Talk to you next time. No,